he didn't do. He's only done, he was only done what they allowed him to do. So that's us. Because did anything change? So when Barack Obama was president for what, eight years? Did anything change in our communities? Across the, not only in Chicago, but Detroit, Los Angeles, did anything change? We still in the same conditions, right? So they let us know we're serving our enemies. We in Chicago, when you go up north, do it look like you look around here? No, we are in the lowest state. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Do y'all know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? No. I don't even know the book of Deuteronomy. Okay. You know who just you know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? So read that real quick, Deuteronomy 101. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the book of Deuteronomy was written to the Israelites by Moses. So that's who name. That's your first name? That's a powerful name. My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, that's a powerful name as well. So we go, huh? Edward. What's your name? Delazo. Pat. Patrick. Patrick. Huh? So listen up, listen up. Don't stay focused. Don't lose, don't lose focus. So we read the book of Deuteronomy is written by Moses. Written by Moses to the Israelites. So back to Deuteronomy 28. Seven. Uh, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the Israelites that something's going to happen in the future. Moses wrote this Bible, this Bible is over 2,000 years ago. So he's telling the Israelites, hey, something's going to happen in the future. It's going to happen to pass, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statue, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites that, hey, if you don't keep the commandments that's in this book, that's in this Bible, curses are gonna come upon you. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So let's see, so we talking specifically about this. So we're gonna jump to verse 48. Let's see what some of these curses that Moses said would happen to the Israelites that correlates with our history. Read. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So the Bible says, it says, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So the Israelites would serve their enemies because for breaking God's commandments. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. And then it's another reminder. It said, which the Lord is going to send against thee. Y'all listening? Y'all listening? Read. In hunger. In hunger. So these enemies that we that's going to be sent against us, we're going to have to serve them in hunger. What's hunger? Well, you got to go hunger. It's talking about to get some. When you hungry, you got to get something to eat. What grocery stores do we shop at today? First hey, go catch Walmart, them. Walmart, Walgreens. 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 You know it's hot. Hurry up. All these. So quick, quick question. Do we own those? Do we own those uh, grocery stores? No. We own them? No. We might be managers or supervisors. We might work there. If we don't own those, please read it again. Send sin against thee in hunger. So he said he's going to send these in, our enemies against us in hunger. So McDonald's, Wendy's. When we want something to eat, we got to go to our enemies to get it. When we was in slavery, who was feeding us? Our enemies. We had to get food from our enemies. We didn't have power. They took us off the west coast of Africa and brought us over here. They was in control of our food. Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Was there water you was drinking? Yeah, the flyer. Where you get that water from? Salad bar. McDonald's. What other type, what other water Grab a flyer. Ice Mountain. Fiji. Do we own the companies that put that water in that bottle? Smart water. We don't own it. So it's national. It's showing us we have to serve our enemies when we thirsty. We want something to drink. We got to go into the dollar store. We got to go into the gas station to get something to drink. 
when water comes freely out of the earth. But yet, if you got a house, what you, what you got are your parents, you got to pay a water bill. Who is controlling the flow of the water that coming to your house? All right, all right. Huh? The government. The government is. Because if you don't pay that water bill, what's going to happen? They're going to cut that water off. What's your question? Would it be our enemy still if, if the government and the president was Barack Obama was the president? Because he's black. So. Yes, it would be. Because even during the time when Barack Obama was president, he's just a puppet. He's put in place, but everything that he wanted to do, he didn't do. He's only done, he was only done what they allowed him to do. So that's us. Because did anything change? So when Barack Obama was president for what, eight years? Did anything change in our communities? Across the, not only in Chicago, but Detroit, Los Angeles, did anything change? We still in the same conditions, right? So they let us know we're serving our enemies. We in Chicago, when you go up north, do it look like you look around here? No. no, we are in the lowest state. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Read on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. What y'all think that's talking about? Like, we're gonna serve, we're gonna serve our enemy in nakedness. Okay. Our clothes. The clothes that's on our back. When you look at the, the, the tag on your shirt, what it say? Made in China, made in Taiwan, made somewhere else. We don't make the clothing that's on our back. We don't work. They had, they did at one point in time. Look, but right here it says we're gonna serve our enemy in nakedness. So the clothes that we go on our back, we can go on Family Dollar and get some clothes. We can go and what's some other uh, clothing store? DTLR. Do we own those stores? And even deeper than that, do we own the, the uh, which, what is it called? Textiles. The textiles that put the clothing together, that put the, that wove the cotton together? No. We got to go to our enemy to get these things. We serve in our enemies in hunger, in thirst, and in naked. Free. And in want of all things. And it says, and in want of all things. Where do we got to go to get our education? And who, who's over those schools? Who controls the curriculum? The school board. The school board. And who, who's over that school board? Our enemies. The government. Our enemies control all that. Because right now, they, 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 taking the his, they taking this history. A lot of us learn in school. They taking it out of the school. Why? Because they don't want us to know this thing. Because what we teaching right now hasn't been taught on the earth. Right, right now, it's coming out at a large scale. Because we are the gods of the earth. We supposed to be on the top. But we not because we broke God's commandments. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So it says, and he shall put a yoke of iron on thy neck. Who put yokes on? Who put these yokes? Y'all see this image right here? Who put that yoke of iron on our neck? Our enemy. Well, who? White people. Don't be scared to say it. It says, read it again. And he, and he is very specific to who put the yokes of iron. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron on thy neck, read, until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. Why are we walking around today with no yokes of iron on our neck? so-called the Emancipation Proclamation, so-called as Abraham Lincoln. But, think about it. Now read, read that last part again. Justin, still listening? Listen to what he said. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Let me see that. Let me see your flyer. So he said he put a yoke of iron on our neck until he have destroyed thee. So these, on the front of that flyer, you see the yokes of iron. We also had yokes of iron where it had brass bells on them. And what was the purpose of those bells? To keep us from running away, keep us from escaping. Because they can hear us. If we did run, if we had them bells on, they would easily be able to track you down. But now, today, we don't have those chains on our neck no more, right? 
but it says, read it again. Until he have destroyed thee. So the reason that we don't have those yokes of iron on our neck today is because we are destroyed as a people. We no longer know that we are the Israelites. That's right. We no longer know that this Bible is our history book. Right. They destroyed us. When we was in slavery, they stopped us from reading. Why you right. why you think they didn't want us to read the Bible? Because they don't want us to read the Bible. Exactly. They knew that we was going we was going read when we when we read the Bible, and like now y'all getting a proper understanding of the Bible, right. it automatically triggers us back to who we are. Because this is our book. This is a spiritual book, but it's also a history book. Right. It's historical because we can look at our history, how we were taken off the west coast of Africa and brought over here to America, and we can see the Bible said it, say that. Them yokes of iron was on our neck. We got the history records to prove it, and now we're going into the Bible showing how it really happened. What you got? Hi. They want us to stay dumb so they can control us. Exactly what they did. That's why now, I'm gonna get your, that's why now, we don't have yokes of iron on neck because we ain't going nowhere. Right. Majority of us will fight more for the other nations than we will for our own people. Look at Chicago. All we do is kill each other day in and day out. Right. Every time you look up, somebody getting shot. And we killing each other. Right. We're not supposed to be killing nobody, but why is we killing each other? We killing each other all. That's because we destroyed as a people. No longer do we see each other as gods. We are the gods of the earth. The Most High God created us to rule this earth. Right. The reason we're not ruling the earth is because we broke his commandment. To the nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are God's children. And he gave this Bible and has it set. It's, a, it's his rule book. It's, it outlines the things that we must do as the Israelites to please our God, to make him happy. So when we didn't do those things, he cursed us, he disciplined us. And that's what we're going through right now today. That's why we at the bottom of society, no matter where you go. We at the bottom of society, why? Because we broke God's rule. Read that. Exodus 4 and 22. This is the book of Exodus, chapter four and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So this let us know, the Most High God said, Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are God's children. We are God's children, and this is our Bible. That's right. So to change our communities, the only way to change it is to return to this Bible, to return to keeping God's commandments. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. We are the children of God. I'm going to finish this off, and I know you asked about the image of Christ. Chapter 68. So Deuteronomy. right here, we see on the sign, it says slave trade, Bible prophecy. You see that the slave trade routes was this Africa, us being brought over to North and South America, and then, believe it or not, the Native Americans that was here, the so-called Mexicans that was here, the same thing happened to them. That's right. When the conquistadors came over here on the shores of America, they put them on slave ships and sent them to Europe. Right. Sent them to Spain. The same exact things happened to them. Why you think every neighborhood we in, they right there, right next door? But we the same people. We may have different shades, different tones, but we are the same people. We go through the same problem. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So remember, we read what Moses wrote to the Israelites. And now he says, and the Lord shall bring thee, the Israelites, into Egypt again. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? Building. They were building, building what? They were building the pyramids, but what were they? Were they building those pyramids willingly? Slaves, slaves, they were slaves. slaves. Would you agree? Yeah. So it said, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it says, the Lord is going to bring you into Egypt or slavery again. How? With ships. With ships. If you, if you examine history, the Israelites never went back into the physical land of Egypt. So this lets us know 
It's talking about the transatlantic slave trade, which started in 1492 with the Native Americans. And it's also talking about the sub-Saharan slave trade. But the Bible has to let us know, this is our history book, because these things that we read is right here. That's right. It happened. It's in our history. It's in our history book. So right here, you see this sign? It's the 12 tribes in the nation. What you would call the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. That's what we know known as today. Those are my words. Because let me, if we say we black, we say we African American. Where are those continents at? Where's the continent of black? No. Black. Is there any land on this earth called black? No. So how do we how how is our nationality black? Our skin ain't really well, black. Well, white people are all white then. Huh. Some people so that's, 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 I got the same question. Because in the Bible, according to the Bible, they actually red. Because you can see the blood through their skin. Because when you go down south, what they call them? Red They call them red necks. So, huh? You can, see, you can see the blood through their skin. When they get mad, they really turn red. Then when they in the sun, they neck, the back of their neck turn red. Why do they call them neck? Because they can see blood through their skin. Some of them. When you go to Mexico, the Mexicans that we see and that they show are very light. But when you go to Mexico, there's many Mexicans that's a lot darker than us. They look just like us. What's y'all name, bro? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. Y'all know, we talking about the Bible. Y'all know the Bible. This information that y'all learn here is the most important information that y'all learn ever. Yeah, sure. I might have one more question. Let me, let me, hey, let me, let me bring out this one point, my brother. One more, let me bring out this one point, my brother. He had a question. What color is first? Whatever color we want. Whatever color? According to the Bible, you got no color? What, 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 what Bible what scripture can you use to prove that? Uh, what color is it? Let's see. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it says the revelation of Jesus Christ. What's the root word of revelation? Uh, to reveal. So what we're about to read is the revealing of Christ. Because everything is in the Bible for a reason. Read that. Verse 10. Verse 10. And I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So now that John said he turned to see the voice that spoke with him. He turned to see the voice that spoke to him. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So he said, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. This is what he's seen. This is the seven golden candlesticks. The menorah. The seven branch menorah that, that, the Israel, that was for the Israelites. Oh, Read. No. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So now he said, in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Read. One like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. When Christ walked the earth, the disciples called him the Son of Man. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And it says he was clothed with a garment down to the foot. Just like this. Read. Read. And girt about the peps with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. his, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So now it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who has woolly hair on the earth? Oh, no, 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 uh, buffalo. I think buffalo. Black people. Oh, uh, black people. I hear it says, read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says his head and his hairs white were white people. like wool. No, oh. we got the woolly hair on the earth. I, I, I know, uh, so this is letting us know. I know people. No, because they got white hair. No, listen, listen, listen. It says his hair was, the hairs on his head were white like wool, read. As white as snow. As white as snow, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And it says his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was red because Christ drunk wine in moderation, read. And his feet 
Like unto fine bread. And his feet like unto fine bread. Y'all hear that? What color is bread? Bread. What color is what color is bread? No, no, it's like bronze. 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 What what color is that? Like, like, I like color. Like, 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 Y'all learning about y'all history. Y'all learning right. that y'all are the gods of the earth. Right. Y'all learning about God. Y'all think that y'all gonna be here learning about God and somebody ain't gonna let somebody harm you? You learning your true heritage? You learning who you are and who you supposed to be and how you supposed to walk? Right. This, this is, this is, this is, we, we here physically, but this is spiritual. It ain't no coincidence that y'all, that y'all walked up and we set up. Right. This is the most important information that y'all need to learn. That's right. This is what's going to help you grow into men. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 